Testing, testing, testing. Hello everyone and welcome back to game week three of the 23-24 PTC Therapeutics Premiership where you join myself, Ryan Sipple, and for the first time my co-commentator Liam Fitzpatrick for this game between West Bromwich Albion and West Bromwich Albion Throstles, a close club rivals. Derby really for them. It yeah. really is. You all okay Liam? Yeah, we're doing well, yeah. Today, well, day two. Um, going to be some good games today, I think. Uh, this one's going to be a, a big one as well for both teams. Uh, West Brom trying to get back in the title race. Um, and Frostle's sort of wanting to progress in the mid-table. Uh, so it'll yeah. be a good game. Yeah, mixed day for West Bromwich Albion Throstles. Obviously, they started the weekend against yourselves, Manchester United, and I wasn't watching it from what I've heard. It was a fairly comprehensive performance from them. What was your thoughts on that game? Um, I think I think it was quite an even game, if I'm being totally honest. But they had the good, they had the, the you know, the finishing touches. The, the two finished uh, goals, uh, which I, I thought were quite unlucky goals to give away. Yeah. Um, I think there were deflections as far as I'm aware, but no, overall it's quite a even game. But Brussels came out on top with just the uh, the clinical finishing. Yeah. On their yeah. Brussels' second game of the day yesterday was a close 2-1 defeat to Newcastle. Uh, the scoreline probably a little bit more favourable than the actual performance. Newcastle very dominant, and it was just a late consolation. Um, scored, which meant they were unable to take any points from that one. They start yeah. today against West Bromwich Albion, obviously a team looking to regain. Strong their, starting game. Yeah, yeah they, they, they want to get that Premiership crown back off of Aspire. Uh, they play Villa Rockets later on today. West Bromwich Albion, of course. Bringing the form back a bit now. Absolutely, they? Yeah. they are. 6-1 victory over Nomad Knights. A notable hat-trick from their new sign-in, Argentinian captain Valentino Zegarelli, uh, before a fairly comprehensive 2-0 win over Teesside. Teesside just struggling to find their rhythm in game week three. They've just won 1-0 over 7 Oaks. so hopefully for them, they'll be back to winning ways. Yeah. From the looks of it, Chris Gordon has had a slight issue with his chair. We was just preparing ourselves to come on commentary, and I think he collided with something, or something collided with his chair, which meant the, the ball bounced on it. His, it. his controller has completely sheared off his chair, and there's a number of people gathering around, desperately trying to fix it. We were scheduled for a 10:25 kickoff. I very much presume that that will be delayed slightly as they try and fix that. Let's just go through the wider squads of these two teams. Bring up West Bromwich Albion Throstles first. Bef Sorry, West Bromwich Albion first before Throstles. Just after West, West Bromwich Albion currently third in the table. Teesside just leapfrogged them with that win over Seven Oaks this morning. Well, they can regain second spot as they desperately try and chase down Aspire. They have number four, Marcus Harrison. Number seven, Logan Mitchelson. Number eight, Dave Lewis. Number nine, Chris Gordon. 
number 10, Valentino Zegarelli, number 14, Matt Gilbert, and number 27, Dylan Kelsall, their coach, of course, Chris Gordon. Definitely a strong team. It really it's is. Got a lot of quality. Um, they're just trying to find the form a bit now in the um, throstles as well. Sorry. Yeah, so to go through the throstles team, they have number seven, Amy Wharton, number nine, Lucas Christa, number 10, Jackie Banks, number 18, Jonathan Davis, number 20, Ollie Rock, number 29, Barris Inall, and number 40, John Dixon. Their coaches, Paul Hunt and Matt Bodin. Team just warming up. Be interesting to see what team Chris Gordon opts to pick. Mm. That's something that they have this weekend that they haven't for a while is that real compliment off the bench. That's something that Aspire typically always kind of had over West Brom. Options on the bench and a whole squad to pick from. Obviously, the acquisitions of Logan Mitchelson from Leeds Chariots in the off-season and the recent signing of Valentino Zegarelli, who's made a real impact. Definitely. Patrick in his first game. It's, it's certainly an impressive stat. It looks like Chris Gordon has fixed the controller on his chair, so hopefully for him and his team will be able to start this game. Adam McAvoy will be our central referee assistant officials of Steve Crump and Lee Brennan will be underway very shortly of West, Brom West Bromwich Albion's 10 games they've 1-8 drawn one that thrilling game against Aspire in game week two and a loss to Newcastle United who have really turned on the style in game week two I think you said you're playing them later yeah uh, after this, I think. What yeah. are your thoughts ahead of that one? Um, well, we know Newcastle United have got got some quality players. We've got Ollie Crawshaw, who's um, you know, a great young player. Uh, Ethan Fisher, which I don't think he needs much introduction. No. Uh, really good quality. Um, ball passer, if, if you will. Yeah. So it's going to be quite a... We, we know they're going to be a strong team. Um but, yeah, just every game's going to be a difficult one for us, but we'll just give it our all. And yeah, it's, <laughs> it's getting really tight at the bottom. Obviously, Hull and East Yorkshire uh, rooted to the bottom of the Premiership standings, and then you've got Nomad Knights, you've got Seven Oaks, Manchester United and Nottinghamshire. Whoever finishes in 12th and 11th will be automatically relegated to next season's championship, and whoever finishes in that 10th spot will have to contest a one-off playoff game against whoever finishes third in the championship I think you were saying that you would love to avoid that playoff fixture you typically get drawn into that a lot whether yeah, that's from um, the championship coming up or the premiership going down I think this time around we're, we're definitely bringing a different approach to how we um, play our football normally uh, we're trying to play a more attacking game um, so obviously our core element is defending um, and that's what's kept us in this league for a long time um, so it, it, you know, it'd be nice to um, find some form and be able to avoid that uh, playoff for once but uh, it'll depend on us it, absolutely, it's still very much in your hands having a, a slightly favourable points accumulation and record then Nomad Knights and Seven Oaks certainly. Yeah, I think every team at the bottom's got uh, good players, a good, a, a good team. They're all trying to establish something in the Premiership. I, I th so it's going to be quite a. Um, things can change quite quickly in this league, especially with the lower teams at the bottom. But um, I think it's surely a testament to the quality of the overall division. Yeah, it, it's not that any teams are, are worse than the others. It just it means that it's incredibly competitive at the exactly, top and the bottom. Yeah. Um, I think the championship's getting quite... Oh, the, the, well. the gap between the Premiership and the Championship is the smallest it's ever been. And you're seeing teams from the Championship come up to this division and hold their own a little bit more. Teams that come up via the Championship are always typically 
favourites to be relegated, but that's the same in any sport, in any form yeah. of football. So um, they always have to kind of beat the odds to uh, survive, I suppose, the, the, the positive for the teams that were promoted in yourself, Hull and Nomads is um, only two can be automatically relegated and one can maintain survival through that playoff. So the teams have lined up. We'll be able to go through them squads or the starting four for both West Bromwich Albion and Throssels. Chris Gordon will be in the designated goalkeeper jersey. He's wearing blue, just trying to win the coin toss. He has Matt Gilbert, Marcus Harrison and Valentino Zegarelli making his first start for the squad. And for Throssels, they have Barris in all in Yeah, Barris in all in goal. John Dixon in the centre, Jonathan Davis and Lucas Christa. What are your predictions, Liam? I think West Brom are going to win it. Um, I think if Russell start quite well, I think it'll be quite an even game for for about 10 minutes. But I think West Brom will come out, come out on top um, with the quality they've got. Valentino Zegarelli into the action early. Can't quite get the time in on that 180. Rolls out of play for a Throssels ball. Be taken by John Dixon. Looks like Zegarelli is going to take the position on the right-hand wing. Marcus Harrison on the left. Ball ricochets high. And Matt Gilbert has his first involvement. Just controls it and tries to dribble it out of danger. But met quickly by Jonathan Davis. They have to be alert to that attacking pressure from Throssels who will want to try and attack early. Slightly forced there from Jonathan Davis. I would have liked to have seen him pick a different option in that occasion. John Dixon was on the edge. I think Throssels will definitely go for it, no doubt about it. I think every team go, goes for it against West Brom. It's, um, it's one of, certainly with Frostles, they're in a position where they're, they're, they're in no risk, really, of getting relegated as Valentino Zegarelli beautifully guides that ball over the line. It was almost like a faint shot with the right-hand side of his bumper, but did a full kind of 180 to guide it. <laughs> Absolutely great goal from the Argentine. It's a running joke. Really hard, get, really hard way to score, honestly. Yeah, it's a running joke at the moment of how much of a fanboy I am of Zegarelli, but I'm going to embrace it. Why not? But there was always questions. There was no questions as to his quality. We saw that in Sydney at the Power Chair Football World Cup. But in terms of how quickly he would adapt to the English game is another question altogether. But it looks like he's just been a seamless transition. Gordon into the goal scorer, Zegarelli. Over to Marcus Harrison, who tries to return the favour. But John Dixon... Intercepts. From a Jalbian one, Throssels nil. Two and a half minutes played. It's the exact start that Chris Gordon would have wanted. It's one thing about Valentino Zegarelli. He has that technical ability but does not shy away from getting stuck into the physical side will have to be very physical in this one. Lucas Christa, John Dixon and Jonathan Davis, very strong players on and off the ball. Russell's going for it at the moment. Uh, Lucas Christa and Chris Gordon. Um, just fed it back to Harrison. Jonathan Davis has to be careful of his control there. Could have easily put Zegarelli away on that right-hand wing. Very dangerous loose ball to give away. Um, but, yeah. Gordon and John Dixon locked in a 50-50 battle for that ball. Zegarelli to take. 
just drops off. Gives responsibility to his captain and coach. Quite an interesting dummy. Yeah. In a way. Well, kind of a dummy. <laughs> It certainly confused me, so that probably has been a consideration. The West Brom always have that little trickery they have in players. Um. Thank you to all that are tuning in for this game between West Brom Albion and Throstles. That's Bobby Jalbin currently lead by goal to nil. And Zegarelli attacks the ball at the right hand post. Can't quite make connection on that occasion. But the danger very much present. He's showing his class. Indeed. Really good to watch. Um, I, I think West Brom and Frostles, they always play, they play each other every week, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So um, I think they know each other in and out. Bit like uh, United and Sale, of course. Each other and, uh, of course, when you've kind of got the same parent club, yeah, the players will know each other's games really well, yeah. really well. So sometimes that can that can play out. It can, or yeah. sometimes it can be a little bit of a stalemate. Um, Two on one for Brussels. Uh, I think that was just a uh, timing, really. Um, probably weren't as quick as they normally are with that. Um, it's, like it's a good pick good off. Good defending there from Brussels. Yeah, Harris. that was good. Marcus Harrison intercepted well. Put it over to Valentino Zegarelli on the right. But Barris Hinnell did well to adjust accordingly. Good work from Lucas Christa there. Marcus Harrison, no doubt, is going to try and wrap his chair around the ball, but has to be incredibly careful as it rolls inside the post. Lucas Christa does incredibly well there. Marcus Harrison, a very strange decision not to engage that ball earlier. A lot of, I think uh, that comes, sometimes that just comes down to um, communication sometimes um, and also positioning. Um, Chris got, uh, West Brom, we know that they leave a lot of space at the back and um, that's what a lot of teams try and exploit. Um, he did so I think brilliantly that there. Just, um, bad timing. Um, yeah, the thing is, had Marcus Harrison engaged and driven his chair to, to the left a little bit more, it could have put it even more on yeah. target for Lucas Christa, so I can understand his hesitation. He couldn't get yeah. his chair up to a speed where he could wrap his chair around it. Um, I think he was in two minds as well about a three in the box potential, maybe as well. Um, I know Chris Gordon would have was pulling back as well, so I think um, he was in two minds there, really. So many goals in which West Bromwich Albion concede are quick counter attacking goals where the opposition is capitalising on the fact that they play this brave, expansive four-out way as wow. Zegarelli puts it across the line. That is incredible. That is an incredible finish. The, the tiniest gap as well, it's, you know, it's margins, really. Um, the West Brom are back in it again. Absolutely. They didn't wait long at all to regain that one-goal advantage. Chris Gordon just slotting it into Zegarelli on that right-hand wing. And John Dixon will be disappointed that he just didn't read that intended effort. Oh. Starting to really open up now. Two on one. Quite tight there. Um, perhaps maybe a little bit of miscommunication there. Um, Even the best aren't, aren't always going to um, going to always get two on one, maybe given against them. Sometimes it's just the nature of the sport, really, isn't it? Yeah. Worth noting that Valentino Zegarelli has now scored more goals across his three games than Chris Gordon or Matt Gilbert, so proving to be a real threat in front of goal as they pursue their fifth. 
league title. John Dixon does brilliantly well to just trap Matt Gilbert on this right-hand wing. Both of these teams have options on the bench. West Bromwich Albion yet to utilise Dave Lewis, Dylan Kelsall or Logan Mitchelson. West Bromwich Albion throttles have Amy Wharton, Oliver Rock and Jackie Banks. Chris Gordon passes to Zegarelli once again searching for his hat-trick. Lucas Christa very strong there to dispossess Chris Gordon. Met by Marcus Harrison. Ten and a half minutes to go. Been a great game so far, Liam. Really has. Um, very, um, I think West Brom have had a lot of the ball, but I think Brussels have been, I think they've been quite unlucky, to be honest. Um, I think that second goal was a bit of, um, well, you can just see the quality that Zaganelli has. Um, he's great at finding them little spots behind, uh, behind goal. Um, just quality, really. Um, Looks like he's coming off now in place of Dylan Kelso. No doubt he'll want to feature again in this game as he looks to get his second hat-trick in three games should have confirmation of that substitute on your screen now as Jonathan Davis battles away with Matt Gilbert just in the West Bromwich Albion half guides it goalbound Dylan Kelsall with his first involvement just flicks it back to Gilbert over to Lucas Christa good position in there from Lucas um, no foul I think That yeah, con yeah, excessive force used by Lucas Christ, unfortunately. But yeah, absolutely, he did have a good position there to just fragment that flowing passing from West Bromwich Albion. He's back in possession on this wing where he was able to get that equaliser earlier in the game. John Dixon this time in support, a little bit deeper, flicked and ricocheted towards Barris Innell in the Throstles goal. David Tussle there with Marcus. Back to Chris Gordon. Nice. Quite unlucky there from Dylan. Yeah, um, couldn't quite angle his chair to really force the effort at goal, but nice distribution from Chris Gordon in the centre. Can generate so much power. Yeah, it's really calm. Right, when Chris Gordon gets that ball moving, it's um, quite a bit of a... Well, I think any player gets a bit worried when the ball goes across their own box. Uh, no, because Gordon distributes the ball really well. Out of play. Next up for West Bromwich Albion, they play Manchester United. Yourself later on this afternoon. Throstle's second game of the day will be that of Villa Rockets. That promises to be a fairly good game fairly even game I'd yeah say. Villa Rockets have done very well I had the pleasure of commentating their game against Newcastle United yesterday and it looked almost certain that they were, they were going to get three points from that leading 2-0 well. until yeah. very late and, and Newcastle an inspired comeback to win 3-2 just the quality and the competitiveness of this league is arguably the best it's ever been and you can understand why players such as Zegarelli and players from Scotland are really drawn to the prospect of testing their ability in what we would say is the best league in the world. And I hope it can be the first of many and others from countries and continents around the globe can look at what has been achieved and make that leap to play their football here. Chris Gordon into Dylan Kelsdall, intercepted by Lucas Christa. Very congested. In that top right-hand corner. Good work from Kelsall. Chris Gordon's slightly caught in two minds as, a, as to whether 
to return the pass to Dylan Kelso or find Marcus Harrison on the left. Lucas Christa has possession now. Barris Innell, of course, playing against his old club in which he won a number of league titles with. Substitution. Being prepared by Throssels as Amy Wharton enters the action for the first time today. John Dixon, the player, coming off. Five and a half minutes to go. Dylan Kelso. Got on the ball for West Brom. Bring you confirmation of the score. On court B currently, which is half time between Leeds Chariot and Nomad Knights. Leeds Chariot currently lead by three goals to nil, which I'm sure for you, Liam, is good news. Being such a close relegation rival. Um... One could say that, yeah. Um, but I think sometimes it's not um, focusing on our own game. Of course. The other get there around us. Um, at the end of the day, one could say it's in our hands, um, and it's up to us to deliver the um, the goal that we want to achieve by the end of the season, um, which is definitely away from that playoff zone. Um, hopefully. Um, and to be established for next season um, in the Premiership. Barrison with the goal kick into Amy Wharton, flicks it to Jonathan Davis, just tries to angle his chair in a fashion that keeps it in play. But Chris Gordon positions himself well. Substitution that I missed. Dave Lewis has come on in place of Marcus Harrison. Get confirmation of that one on your screens now. Krista into Jonathan Davis. West Bromwich Albion 2, Throssels 1, two Valentino Zegarelli goals, and a single from Lucas Krista. Really great to watch. Um, Two on one given against Brussels. Um. Left the roll out of play by Barrasino. Three minutes to go. Let's try and get the league stand in, certainly for the top six teams, and see what this potential scoreline could do. For the wider standings, I think with Aspire yet to play, this result would take West Brom within three points of the current league leaders. Aspire on 31 points. This win would take West Bromwich Albion on to 28, Teesside on 25, Newcastle on 25. Villa Rockets on 20 and Leeds on 19. So similar to the bottom of the table, incredibly tight at the top. Indeed. A lot of the bottom half uh, just trying to get um, as many points as you can against the, uh, well, mid-table is more of the aim with, against those teams. Yeah. Um, Obviously, aiming for points with, again, with top six requires a lot more than uh, you've got to have that confidence, the belief. Um, and also, you've just got to have the, the quality, really, to um, to be able to, well, at least try against the top six. Um, but there's definitely a big difference in terms of bottom half of the table and top half of the table. Um, 
foul given to Frostles, West Brom's ball. Chris Gordon about to take it. Cross cool. to Perry Lewis. Dylan. Lucky from Dylan Kelso there. Just trying to find that pass across to David. Yeah. Um, very unselfish player, Dylan Kelso. is very good at knowing when to shoot and when to pass. I think that's something that his game has benefited from, from being under the stewardship of Chris Gordon. In, he's in possession now. Just fires it into the back of Amy Walton's chair. There's good defensive work from Throssels. There's little to no room in them attacking areas for West Bromwich Albion. We're going to have to really... It's definitely going to be Frostles defending a lot of uh, West Brom going all out attack, really. Um, I think Frostles have settled quite well. Um, yeah, they haven't, they haven't had too much danger since Zegarelli certainly has left the court. Kelsall into Gordon. Well blocked by Amy Wharton. We've had the regulation 20, so now into any additional Ooh, time. Tight there with West Brom. Uh, two on one, yeah. Possibly a little bit of miscommunication there. Um, maybe a bit of hesitation in a way as well. Um, yeah, that's just uh, what happens sometimes. Just, uh, People in two mounds, whether they should go for the ball or not, and in most cases, be a tight two on one given away. Deep into additional time, Chris Gordon attacking on that left hand wing. Adam McAvoy just glances at his watch. Surely the last passage of play before the half-time break. Lucas Christa takes it before the whistle is blown. Half-time, West Bromwich Albion 2, West Bromwich Albion Throssels 1. Thank you to all that are tuning in. I know we have viewers from around the world. I can see Stephen Price from Las Palmas. We've got friends from Australia and Argentina as well. And no doubt a number within the home nations. A thank you to all that are joining myself and Liam Fitzpatrick. Please put your comments in the chat. We will be tracking them. We'll see you shortly for the second half.
Hello everyone and welcome back to this game between West Bromwich Albion and West Bromwich Albion Throttles in the 23-24 PTC Therapeutics Premiership where you join myself, Ryan Sipple and Liam Fitzpatrick for the action in the second half. What are your thoughts on the first half, Liam? Um, I think West Brom definitely showed the quality. Um, but Fossil started out um, maybe a bit a bit slow in the first five minutes. Um, but I think they got back in the game. Um, they went more for a defensive uh, way. Um, they didn't shy away, though, did they? No, they, they did go for it. Um, with the the counter-attacking they were trying to do against West Brom. But um, no, West Brom came on top with the uh, quality they've got on and off the bench. It looks like there's been a few substitutions in that half-time break. Oliver Rock now in the squad. And Valentino Zegarelli has re-entered the action. Get confirmation of their substitutes once we are underway. The teams will be as follows. Chris Gordon, Dylan Kelsall, Valentino Zegarelli and Dave Lewis. And for Throstles, Barris Inall, Lucas Christa, Oliver Rock and Amy Wharton. As Chris Gordon passes immediately to Zegarelli, tries to bypass Oliver Rock, is unable to do so. Zegarelli leads to the right, right hand side. That's from his ball. Gordon into Zegarelli. Back to Gordon. Over to Zegarelli. Trying to squeeze the ball between Krista and Barisinol. There's confirmation of them two substitutes for both teams here at the Lee Westwood Sports Centre. Amy Wharton trying to restrict the space and options of Chris Gordon. Zegarelli and Dave Lewis waiting, ready to pounce should the ball come in their vicinity. Chris Gordon has to vacate the space on the left. Zegarelli trying to force the ball over the line two goals in the first half and he get his hat trick out for a goal oh, quick Frostles. yeah you see what Zagreli was trying to do there he definitely gives shades of Marcus Harrison and he's persistent in the dribble putting pressure on defenders it does indeed you can see that just didn't quite um, I think quite aggressive with his um style there. Um, That's the South American way. You saw that from West Brom though as well. They've got that um, really aggressive style of play. Appeals from Zegarelli but the kick in awarded to Lucas Christa and West Brom Albion Throstles. Down the line, intercepted by Zegarelli, off the front of Amy Wharton's chair. So West Brom come away with the kick in. Zegarelli to take. Chris Gordon in support as the deepest option. Dylan Kelsall, well marked by Amy Wharton, switches the play over to Dave Lewis, who isn't able to capitalise, couldn't adjust quickly enough. Krista and Rock exchanging some passes. This is better from Frossels. Zegarelli gets a crucial interception. A good chair positioning from Krista to just drive across the face of the Argentine. Once again, he's trying to force the ball over the line. Millimetres away from registering his second hat-trick in Quite the Quite solid defending there from Frossels as well. Uh, I think they're accustomed to the style and the way that West Bromwich Albion play. It's 
Zegarelli with the corner kick. Chris Gordon, the closest option. Dave Lewis in space at the back post. Across the box, beautiful ball into Dave Lewis off the back of Lucas Christie's chair. Fantastic distribution. Well worked set piece there. Across the face goal, Dave Lewis adjusts 180 shot. Once again, the distribution from Zegarelli, absolutely fantastic. Dave Lewis with two opportunities in as many minutes to score West Bromwich Albion's third, but it remains West Bromwich Albion two, Throssels one. I think Dave Lewis is quite unlucky there. I think it just came to a um, possible timing on the end of that uh, finishing touch. Oh, he's certainly putting himself in the in great positions to capitalise and if he's not quite unlucky there yeah if he can replicate that no doubt he'll be on the score sheet at some point Russell's have work to do Albion are starting to assert their dominance on this fixture Barris Inel tries a goal kick intercepted by Zegarelli who weaves to the left and the right con heavy contact be interesting to see what way it's awarded goes in the favor of Throssels bit overzealous from Valentino Zegarelli unfortunately for Barris Inel and Lucas Christo they come away with the direct free kick Your aggression can only go so far. Um, that's definitely a foul. Um, possibly too aggressive there. Yeah, um, has to be careful. Could have very easily be in a yellow card. Worth noting yeah. that he did receive two red cards in the Fit for Power Chair Football World Cup. He's intercepted it. Great pass to Dave Lewis. A little bit of contact, not once but twice, between Dave Lewis and Frostle's chairs. Two on one in favour of Dave Lewis. I really do like Dave Lewis as a player. Never shies away from the physicality of power chip football, but also possesses the technique. Zegarelli guides it goal bound. Cleared by Barris in all the danger. Still very much present. No doubt he's going to try and flick it over to Ooh. Dave Lewis. Slight miscommunication. They're very fortunate that it's not a two-on-one in Brussels' favour. Had it stayed in, that would have been the case. Dave Lewis to take. He's going to go back to Chris Gordon. Good, well closed down by Amy Wharton. Guides it over to Barris Innell. All quite tight there as well, again. Um, yeah, correct decision from Adam McAvoy. number of throttle players were just drawn into that ball indirect free kick to be taken by Chris Gordon Dave Lewis to receive across the face of goal and a shot from Zegarelli cleared by Lucas Christa constant threat in front of goal Dylan Kelsall as Dave Lewis in support now Chris Gordon Back to Kelsey, who attempts an effort, slightly forced on that occasion. Good positioning from Lucas Christa. Chris Gordon. Waiting to see what Barrasino does. Fossils have really struggled to break into the Albion half. Zegarelli with an attempt at goal blocked by Amy Wharton. Oliver Rock very isolated up the court. 
11 and a half minutes to be played. Still only a single goal separates these two teams. Full time on court B. Bring you confirmation after this indirect free kick. Gordon into Zegarelli, across to Dave Lewis, back to Zegarelli, back to Dave Lewis. Nice passing between the two West Bromwich Albion attackers, but couldn't quite force an opening. Should have confirmation of Leeds Chariots 3-0 win over Nomad Knights. We're still live here. Zegarelli has the ball. Kick in for West Bromwich Albion. Intercepted by Amy Wharton. Dylan Kelso, beautiful ball over to Dave Lewis. Into Zegarelli, back to Dave Lewis, but just oh, nicks that. up to Oliver Rock. He's going to try and mount a counter-attack. Brilliant game. Zegarelli met by Lucas Ooh. Christa. Heavy contact as Zegarelli. Joystick. Has just come loose of his chair. The contact goes in his favour. Too aggressive from Lucas Christa. So there's one apiece for them two now. You suspect any further excessive force would result in a yellow card. Chris Gordon to Amy Wharton. Dave Lewis back to Dylan Kelso. Has to be really careful there. Oliver Rock really close to capitalising on that loose ball from Dylan Kelso. Could have very easily been 2-2. Zegarelli wide of the left-hand post. If you need to go at any point, just yeah, let I'm me probably know. Gonna, I should you probably go. get off now anyway. Sorry. So Liam just leaves me to go and set up for his match against Newcastle United. Dave Lewis with an attempt at goal, brilliantly cleared off the line by Barris Inall. The danger still there. Zegarelli tries to bypass Barris Inall. Dave Lewis. Really unlucky not to score there. He's had three or four opportunities in front of goal. I think it's more a testament to the quality of defence across Throstles. Gordon looking at Zegarelli, passes it to him, tries to squeeze the gap. Still has possession. Gordon on the edge. Back to Gordon, to Zegarelli. Cleared by Barris Innell. Pick off from Gordon across the face of his chair. Another two on one. This time, Chris Gordon and Zegarelli too close to one another. Just under eight minutes to go. West Brom 2, Throssels 1 in what has been a really entertaining game. Krista intercepted by Zegarelli. Dave Lewis and the Argentine too close to one another. 2 on 1 this time in the favour of Throssels to be taken by Lucas Krista. Quickly into Amy Water. Back to Krista. Closed down by his ex teammate Dylan Kelso. Both. Used to apply their trade at St George's Knights. Substitution. We'll see Marcus Harrison come on. Dave Lewis. Very bright in the time he was on the court. Has left. Oliver Rock to Krista. Back into Rock. One of the only times they've really threatened Dylan Kelso in the goal of West Bromwich Albion. Lucas Christa still there. 
Chris Gordon going to mount a counter-attack now. Amy Wharton drives across the face of the West Bromwich Albion captain. Good aggressive work from Wharton there. Segarelli back to Gordon. Ushered over to Marcus Harrison. Back to Chris Gordon. Down to Zegarelli. To Gordon. Pick off. Marcus Harrison. Another pick off to Zegarelli. Attempts an effort blocked by Barris Innall. Now to Zegarelli again. Relentless pressure from the four time champions. Once again, trying to force the ball over the line. Lucas Christa, very accustomed to that chance has to readjust Marcus Harrison at that back post as Zegarelli tries to force it over the line very heavy contact from Zegarelli once again has to be careful relentless pursuit of a hat trick sometimes means he's a bit over the top in his contact Barris in all with the goal kick intercepted by Marcus Harrison over to Amy Wharton Gordon completely mishits that ball and an opportunity now had Amy Wharton got that spin kick on could have definitely tested Dylan Kelso in the West Bromwich Albion goal fortunately for Gordon she isn't able to do so. So Marcus Harrison takes, controlled by Chris Gordon. Ricochets to Lucas Christa. Really close, competitive game. As Gordon has possession on the wing. Four minutes to go. Zegarelli blocked by Amy Wharton. Valentino Zegarelli picks out Marcus Harrison, who returns the favour. I don't think Zegarelli was necessarily expecting that ball to come back to him. The accuracy on his set pieces has been excellent this game. Really impressive how quickly he's adopted the West Bromwich Albion style of play. Over to Marcus Harrison. Patiently waiting, threaded the eye of the needle there. Incredible pass from Marcus Harrison. Three Throstles players who he managed to bypass to find his captain. Out of play for a goal kick. Amy Wharton. Krista to take. Two and a half minutes to go. West Bromwich Albion one. Throstles, sorry, West Bromwich Albion two. Throstles one. Marcus Harrison. Zegarelli has to vacate. Oliver Rock does well to restrict Harrison. Dispossesses him brilliantly. Met by Chris Gordon. Zegarelli into Gordon. Oliver Rock with possession. A win for West Bromwich Albion would take them up to 28 points. Zegarelli threads the eye of the needle over to Marcus Harrison. 
that's got to be the third, fourth occasion this game that Zegarelli has managed to pick out his alternate winger with laser precision. Chris Gordon now on the right-hand wing of West Bromwich Albion. The left, as you're viewing it, two on one in favour of Throssels. Gives their defence a little bit of respite as we enter the final minute of play. Krista, all the way down to Gordon, who's happy to let that roll out of play. Good game management. Doesn't want to do anything too rash. And jeopardize this inevitable three points in their pursuit of Aspire in the league standings. Marcus Harrison. Heavy contact from Amy Wharton. That's Marcus Harrison trying to weave his way into the box. Brilliant work from Barrett in all. We've had the regulation 20 now into any additional time. Next up on court A, Seven Oaks PSC take on Hull and East Yorkshire. And on court B, Newcastle United Foundation take on Manchester United PFC. I doubt we'll have very much additional time as Amy Wharton tries to find Oliver Rock on that left-hand wing. Guided out by Marcus Harrison. Contact from Amy Wharton just spinning into the side of Valentino Zegarelli. A very late direct free kick deep into additional time. Taken quickly. Marcus Harrison on the wing. But that will be the last action of the game. West Bromwich Albion 2. Throssels one, two strikes from Valentino Zegarelli. Either side of that Lucas Christa equaliser sees West Bromwich Albion win their third successive game of game week three. Just Manchester United stand in their way of a perfect weekend. Throssels were very good in that game. It has to be noted defensively very well organized we'll be disappointed that they're not coming away with anything but they'll take positives ahead of their final game which promises to be a brilliant one against Villa Rockets thank you to all that have tuned in to this one hope you can join in join me more for others So I get something to show you. 